Hello, I'm Adela Kudla. I'm uh, the head of the digital laboratory in uh, Národní filmový archiv. And uh, as I've been in the manager position since a couple of last years, uh, I just participate on projects. I don't really, uh, I just participate on them. I don't have such a, a huge project as everyone is going to present today. Um, so I have a lightning talk uh, on aiming for peer-to-peer -peer approach in memory institutions and public participation in archiving and preservation of digital art. Um, so here we go. So first, uh, when I has had my first, my very first moment working at National Film Archive, uh, I kind of realized how big the potential of the materials and the collection is. Unimaginable. Uh, so my first feeling was, everyone has to see, th see this, has to know about this. Uh, we need to share, we need to display everything now. Not very handy with the presentation, sorry. And to my disappointment, that did not happen uh, as fast. And I had to learn about the healthy boundaries of ways how we can share the heritage and knowledge that we care about. So, um, since then, uh, NFA and the Digital Laboratory cooperated on several projects. I stated just a couple of them here in this presentation, which will be shared, so everyone can go uh, to, the, to the links and see what we've been participating on. Uh, so, Video Archiv is one of them. Uh, then there is this amazing uh, data providing certified storage project. And for instance, also this project Victor E, which is the visual culture of trauma. And um, yeah, everyone can have a look at this, but this is not my point. This is just a couple of projects we've been putting on public display. And this is also our YouTube channel where you can see a lot of the Czech movies. Uh, but, as I, as I understood, how much time, expertise and money uh, does the work of an archivist take? I felt like a fish in the data sea. So much to digitize, so much to research, but even the part that we already digitized was not permanently on display. Because, yeah, institutions have their limits. And uh, so we find that man's real function is is sorting out his experience, developing what we call the normally and being useful. We hear people talk about technology as something very threatening, but we are technology, the universe is technology, as Buck Buckminster Fuller said. Very wise, very wise words. <laughs> um, Culture in general is not a product of individual creator. Uh, it emerges in like a field uh, where uh, an environment that might be defined by its, by its aspect. It carries a message about an era, time and space, about the politics, aesthetics, and many more messages that speak uh, not only about the individual themselves, 
but about the field they have been influenced by. So, hence, the cultural value is tremendously important for all the participants, meaning general public, other artists, uh, but it also changes the field by being present. So, who do we consider our peers? Is it other arch archives, museums? Is it other states, universities, individuals, students? You see, archiving has always been both institutional and public practice. Uh, much of the collections curated by the institutions are and always have been acquired from uh, private collections, private family collections. And as art pieces of whole collections go digital, and especially born digital, those become established in public institutions. As the range and amount of digital components used in the contemporary art pieces widens, so must the knowledge needed for their preservation for future generations. So I have this idea of sharing the individuals, communities, states, institutions, as I mentioned before, the wide, day, wide range of different groups can not only access but also participate in the care for the heritage with their storage, with their knowledge, with their expertise. I would like to think how we can before if we should or should not. Yeah, so here I'm stating just one idea how we might distribute the heaviness of the care amongst all who are interested in taking part of it. And I hope there will be discussion, not questions, discussion. <laughs> Thank you. Here, one second. Try me. The mic. Uh, there is a specific uh, thing for a former socialist country, name it uh, uh, Amateur Cinema Club. I guess that this exists as existed as well in uh, Czech Republic. And they have a huge uh, heritage on 16 millimeter, which is pure amateur, but amateur uh, feature films, let's say. Mm -hmm. Uh, who care about that now, uh, you or some other institution? Who, because uh, right now, uh, the, those, most of those groups doesn't exist and maybe their heritage is kind of orphan. So who care about these clubs? Thank you. Thank you for the question. So uh, in the Narodny Filmový Archive, we do have a collection of amateur film. Uh, we're, we're actually going to hear a presentation about a specific project that is mostly uh, mostly taking care of this kind of collection. And uh, yeah, like up, up to date, we still do collect uh, amateur film. Uh, the National Film Archive participates in home movie day every year where people bring um, their home tapes and their ancestors' tapes, uh, and we we store them, we collect them, and then uh, as a value to give back, we we digitize it for them so they have uh, something at hand from their own heritage, family heritage. Great, thank you. Um, I think we have time for another question. Does anyone have anything they want to ask Adela? Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you for your presentation. I think it's a really interesting idea, and I was wondering, do you have already some experience with sharing, um, I don't know, the, the information or knowledge that your users have about the collections or about the, the films you have shared? Um, and yeah, if you have some experience with it. So, uh, me personally, as um, just for you to understand, I started in the archive uh, on board digital acquisitions. So, uh, mostly this would be there, there were some partial things, partial uh, pieces uh, that would be, say, a little more complicated than a film, uh, born digital movie, uh, either DCP, MP4, whatever format uh, they would have at hand. Uh, so I didn't come into such, I didn't have such an opportunity to uh, share the knowledge of the people, of the artists who made the artwork. Uh, but yeah, there were a couple of pieces where there would be some explanation needed. And uh, those projects uh, which are in the presentation, which we didn't really go farther into, I strongly recommend you open the presentation and the links because those are uh, terrific uh, archivist works amongst uh, different communities. So for instance, the video archive uh, project, uh, there have been several uh, interviews with the artists and collection of um, other materials than, than just the work, the core work itself. Great, thank you. Can we get a round of applause for Adela?